Our knowledge of deep sea biodiversity has mostly been gathered in recent decades using specialized gear deployed from oceanographic vessels. Yet, most of the abyss remains unexplored. The Census of Marine Life, a 10-year worldwide collaboration of marine biologists, concluded that the deep ocean is vastly underrepresented in their marine species database, the largest in the world. Undiscovered species are estimated to be 70 to 80% of all marine species. Since to date, 260,000 species have been identified, it's likely that 700 to 800,000 marine species remain unknown. Most of these unknown species are likely to live in the deep ocean. In this graph, surface and shallow waters are shaded orange, indicating large numbers of identified species, while blue and green shading in the deep ocean indicate a scarcity of records. Scientists need new technologies to conduct long-term, high-resolution observations of the deep sea, as well as low-impact and no-take methods to minimize sampling-related disturbances. Video systems connected to cabled seafloor observatories are one such technology which can help researchers better document marine biodiversity. Neptune Canada is a cabled network off the west coast of Vancouver Island, British Columbia. An 800-kilometer loop provides continuous power and communications to hundreds of instruments deployed on the seafloor. Data are streamed back in real time, processed, and archived at Neptune Canada's data center. Four remotely operated seafloor video systems with numerous co-located instruments are currently being used by scientists to observe continental slope environments. This was recorded by a webcam mounted on a remotely operated deep sea crawler which studies gas hydrates on the continental slope at a depth of 890 meters. This black and white video was captured by a camera mounted below a stationary platform at a depth of 892 meters. Co-located instruments include a CTD and a fluorometer. This camera is positioned in the axis of a submarine canyon at a depth of 984 meters. The camera is co-located with a current profiler, an ADCP, and a hydrophone. This video is from a color camera positioned at a depth of 896 meters. Nearby instruments include a sediment trap, current profiler, ADCP, and fluorometer. Neptune Canada's video systems are in daily use and generate huge volumes of data. To help curate this ever-growing video collection, a web-based annotation system has been developed, which allows scientists and ocean enthusiasts from all over the world to help describe and document the imagery. SeaTube is Neptune Canada's web-based video archive viewer, allowing people to watch footage from both fixed cameras and ROVs. The annotation tool lets users comment on interesting and unusual events. These comments are automatically entered into the database, making them searchable by others. Digital Fishers is another tool for video analysis. It uses a game-like interface to engage members of the general public in viewing and annotating random 15-second video clips. These two projects are helping build a common database accessible through the Neptune Canada website. By querying the database, scientists can look for videos of interest and freely download imagery along with data from co-located scientific instruments. With SeaTube, Digital Fishers, and our annotations database, we hope to engage scientists, students, and ocean enthusiasts everywhere in helping extend the census of life in our oceans.